Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And today we're going to look at a couple of articles that give rise to a very important question. Should certain prisoners remain in prison for the rest of their natural lives and never be released? I ask this because it comes as two horrendous prisoners. People have done the worst things you can imagine. One is coming up for parole hearing and the other is being told she is being released. I don't think society needs these people. I don't think the prisons need these people. Personally, there are some crimes for which I think a certain punishment should be brought back. However, we're going to look at these. I'm not going to go into the crimes. We're going to look at the two articles. I, re I refuse to discuss the crimes because they are utterly, utterly repulsive, horrific and upsetting. What I want to do is question whether these people should be released back into a society that does not want them, does not need them and in any just world would be repulsed by them to the point that they would have something visited upon them. Anyway, here's the articles uh, and we're going to discuss this uh, by needs of the rules of YouTube. I'm going to have to use very vague, bland terms. So please be understanding, but also understand that actually I don't want to discuss the crimes. Uh, I'm going to try and gloss over the crimes as much as I can, but uh, here's, the, here's the piece. The first person that I want to uh, discuss and I think is a monster is this woman. Look at it. Hasn't got the intelligence of a potato. Should have been sterilized at birth. Should never have been allowed to have a child. Honestly, it's a disgusting waste of human flesh. It's the sort of thing that needs to have been eradicated, flushed down the toilet like the shit she is. Um, and Amanda Platell in uh, the Daily Mail has written a, a hit piece, really. Um, but it's a hit piece that I think everybody would agree with. Um, I'm, just, I'm not going to go through it all, uh, but I'm going to just say what Amanda Platell is saying here. When the mother of Baby P was jailed indefinitely... Now we have a strange use of the word indefinitely here. For me, indefinitely actually meant until they were taking her carcass out and feeding it to the crows. Uh, but this was back in 2009. For causing or allowing the terrible death of her 17-month-old 17th 17 son, most of us believed she would spend the rest of her life in jail. Most of us felt that that was the very least that should be visited upon her. Um, personally, I would have seen far far worse. Good job, I'm not in charge of the prisons. What other sentence could possibly have been sufficient for a monster whose tiny lad was so viciously tortured that he was found dead in his blood-spattered cot, having suffered 50 injuries, including a snapped spine, eight broken ribs, a broken leg, and torn out fingernails. I can't go on with her. I'm moving away from that. That's who we're dealing with here. A woman who did that to her own child. A baby. She should rot in jail. She should never see sunlight again. Never mind being allowed food and being allowed out to walk around the jail and out into the yard. She should, put in the, she should be put in the deepest, darkest hole we have. Thrown in a plate of gruel every day. Just enough food to keep her alive. Just enough food to keep her alive until she's 80 years of age. But until then, she sits in that tiny, tiny cell alone, never seeing human contact again. Wallowing in her own shit and piss. Festering. That's what should happen to that woman. However, it's been 13 years. After what she did to that child, she's being released. 
the Justice Secretary, Dominic Rabb at the time, he, he's a lawyer, uh, and he said that Connolly was pure evil and that she should never be set free. Um, and when he heard that she's being paroled, and she is being paroled, it's not something that can be repealed now, he's demanding a complete reform of the Parole Act. He wants certain crimes to not face automatic parole, but to have higher standards, including public outcry, public acceptance. She's not the first. Uh, Colin Pitchfork was released last year. Yes, last year. Um, he served 31 years in prison. Um, two schoolgirls, he R'd them and then M'd them. Um, he was released. He was out for about three weeks, I think. Uh, and then he had to go back in because he broke the law again. Because these people are monsters. They should never, ever be released that's her I'm going to go down to another one now and here we have another example of human dross the scrapings of your boot that's Colin Blanchard uh, and the headline one of Britain's worst peas could be freed from jail he's an abuser uh, who coaxed nursery worker Vanessa George to abuse babies and toddlers. And we're talking babies. We're talking six-month-old babies, three-year-old ch children. And he's got a parole hearing coming up. He shouldn't be having a parole hearing. He should never have a parole hearing. He should be down in the cell next to the previous cell that I was talking about. Also wallowing in his own filth, never seeing a human being, never seeing sunlight, being fed just enough food to keep him alive until he's in his 80s. These people are scum. So one of Britain's worst peas who coaxed nursery worker for Nesha George to abuse babies and toddlers could be freed from jail as he prepares for a parole board hearing. Colin Blanchard, 51, was handed an indeterminate sentence in 2011. So he's done 11 years for abuse. And he told he would serve a minimum of nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Some of the people, some of these individuals that were abused, are still in junior school. They haven't even made it to high school yet, and he's out. Or he could be out. It came after he recruited George, Vanessa George, to abuse 64 babies in her care for his notorious P gang. She would abuse it, film the abuse, and give them the videos. While he sat there, knocking one out, watching this. He has a parole hearing on the 4th of July. That'll be his Independence Day. Uh... And that's Vanessa George, another monster. I would personally take a pitchfork and put it straight through her face. Another monster. What? They all have a look, don't they? All these monsters have a look. I'm not even going to read the piece anymore. I'm going to come up. What is wrong with our justice system? Why is it broken? Why are these people being allowed out? Why have they even got parole hearings? Never mind getting parole. Why aren't they in the worst conditions ever for the rest of their lives? These people are monsters. They need to be punished. If the prison service isn't going to punish them, I'm hoping that someone in society does. I'm hoping someone finds them and does to them what they did to others. Only does it worse and for longer. And then it will stop. Because if people knew that this was happened to them, they'd think twice before perpetrating these crimes. I am disgusted by them, and I'm disgusted by a society that even contemplates releasing them. 
we as the people need to be protected our children need to be protected are you telling me that these people are functioning human beings are you going to tell me he's not going to come out and still be looking for that material for that kind of pleasure he should never be released she should never be released none of them should ever be released why are they being released I'm being very careful what I say and I'm being very calm because I find I would be very angry I'm very upset I think this is horrific I couldn't read the articles because it goes into details about what was inflicted and I don't want that I don't want that image in my head it's not something I want to carry around so I'm not I'm not going into it I'm going to end it here but I want you good people to question why are these monsters being released thank you for listening if you like what you hear and see on the channel please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already ring the bell for future notifications of output leave a like leave a comment and until next time stay safe stay well and goodbye